I'm Giga and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through my latest art series, which incidentally is also my first. Um, it's called Life in Lockdown and let me tell you why I did it. I originally started painting in 2020 last year when Portugal went into its first COVID lockdown. I suddenly had a lot of free time and I decided to take up painting. Now, almost exactly to the day, one year later, Portugal went into its second COVID lockdown. It had been a year of me painting, so I decided, okay, I need to challenge myself, let's do an art series. As I said, it's called Life in Lockdown, and it basically consists of 14 paintings exploring seven different themes through two different lenses. One being life in lockdown, and the other one being life unlocked, when we can be outside of the house and just free to do whatever we want. And why 14 paintings? Because that was the original lockdown that we had to do, 14 days in the house, that then got extended to, I don't know, many months. But let's start looking at the paintings. And we start with the life in lockdown version of the theme, Touch. I'm gonna be going through the paintings by theme and showing you the two options of that theme. So we start with Touch and Life in Lockdown. When we're in lockdown, we're basically not allowed to touch anybody. There's no hugs, no kisses, no high fives, no any of those good things. And so I decided to paint a video call, which is basically the best thing we have. For the life unlocked version of the theme touch, I decided to go with one of the best things that we can do when we're unlocked, which is to kiss somebody. And we can kiss friends, boyfriends and girlfriends and strangers even. So yeah, I decided to paint a nice little kiss. The next theme was travel. And again, we start with the life in lockdown version of the theme travel. I'd love to travel, cause who doesn't? And during life in lockdown, you're not allowed to travel, but there's plenty of other options or plenty of other ways to have new experiences and different experiences. Movies, books, for example. And so I decided to paint this girl reading a book. And I thought it would be nice to have the little map on the background. Yeah, so this is life in lockdown for travel. And now we have the life unlocked version of travel. And for this case, I decided to paint my last big travel that I did. At the end of 2019, I was in San Francisco for work and my brother came to visit. We got in my van and road trip California and went to Arizona and Utah and it was epic. And this is a picture that my brother took. You can go see the original picture on his Instagram. Uh, there's a link in the description. It was such an awesome trip. But um, yeah, travel, life, unlocked and now we're gonna switch themes again to food and this is again life in lockdown for food and I don't know if you were like me but food and cooking specifically was one of those good things that came with the bad of lockdown because I've always loved cooking but in general you always have like a lot of things on your plate or you have like dinner with friends or you're working on something else and then you don't have enough time to cook and you end up just cooking the same dish you've always eaten. So in lockdown I had a lot of more time so I started painting and I started cooking and I started cooking more elaborate things and I started baking like 99% of the population during lockdown and so I decided to paint this girl making some pancakes. Yeah. And for the unlocked version of cooking or food, I decided to paint the furthest thing from me related to food, I think, basically. The furthest thing from my reality at this point. Lockdown mostly, closed in the house, and the thing that felt the furthest away from me were those street food markets that you have a lot in Asia or like South America or even in Africa. And so I decided to paint one of those. And we have here this lady cooking somewhere in Asia. I think it looks cool. Next theme was sleep. 
Another thing you might not know about me is I sleep very well. And I sleep anywhere, at any time, in any conditions. But when I'm in lockdown, I'm always in the house. And basically this was my feeling. It's just like always laying in the house, always sleeping in the same bed, just looking out the window and like contemplating all of the different places that I'll be sleeping in the future. And I guess this is a nice segue to the life unlocked version of sleep, which was a painting of probably the coolest place I've slept at. So this is a hostel, basically, in Colombia, perched on the side of a cliff in the middle of the mountains in the middle of Colombia. I went there in the beginning of 2019. If you want to hear like the whole story about this place, you can watch the actual video where I'm painting this and I'll talk about the process of getting there and the experience there. It was really nice. I'll put it in the corner. The next theme was... Sports. I like to do theme sports. Like, I like to play football with friends or basketball with friends or volleyball with friends. Or I played handball for I don't know how many years. Um, I also like to do skateboarding and rock climbing, but when we're locked in the house, most of those sports are not an option. And so me and I'm sure a lot of other people resorted to home workouts. And one thing I do really like to do is yoga. And so I decided to paint this girl doing a little bit of stretching, looking at the computer as we always do because we need to be following somebody on the computer. <laughs> And then I decided to paint one of the sports that I like to do with other people. But generally I play football with friends. Basketball is the only sport I do that is more prone to playing it with strangers. There's a lot more pickup games of basketball than of football. Or at least I do a lot more games of pickup basketball than pickup football. And so I decided to paint this scene of these little kids playing basketball. I like this little kid just hanging. And now the next theme was fun. And for fun, I could have basically done any of the things I painted before, because I love cooking, I love sleeping, I love reading, um, but I decided to go a little bit more literal and paint what a lot of people are doing for fun nowadays. <laughs> and that is playing games, playing PlayStation or Xbox. I haven't played video games in ages, but I thought it seemed appropriate, and this girl looked cute playing PlayStation, so I painted her. And for the unlocked version of fun, I decided to paint basically my favorite thing to do in the world, which is just get a group of nice friends and just go out somewhere by the river here in Lisbon, have some drinks, talk, watch the sunset. And so I painted a couple of my friends having drinks. I, was, I actually took this picture. Huh. And the last theme was music, which basically is our lifesaver <laughs> and is keeping us company through all of the things that we do outside of the house and especially inside of the house when we're in life in lockdown, which is what this represents. And comparing this to the life unlocked version of music, where I decided to paint the best music festival in the world, which is Paredes de Cora in the north of Portugal. And I think it's the best for a couple reasons. One is the location. It's in this beautiful natural amphitheater, like surrounded by beautiful woods. It's next to this nice, cold, freezing river that just chills you to the bone. There's an incredible little charming town next to it. And then the music is great. It's mostly like rock, indie, alternative rock, um, and some electronic music. And everybody in the public is there for the same thing, which is just to enjoy themselves, be happy. It's just, it's an awesome, incredible festival. And that's why I decided to paint it. And just like that, we finished all of the paintings in the art series. So comment down below which one was your favorite. If you're interested in watching the full painting process of any of these paintings, or hear a little bit more of the story why I painted what I painted, there's a video for every single one of these paintings out. So I'll put a playlist in the description and also here in the corner. So go check it out if you want. And if you're interested in buying any of these paintings or I can also do prints, just message me on my Instagram and we can figure that out. But 
yeah just remember to like the video if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe so you see more videos or my face <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video bye okay.